Hello, in this video we'll be using Sony Ericsson update service to update my X10 Mini Pro. Um, well, I say update, I basically mean to restore it to the original uh, Sony Ericsson firmware. So, first of all, we're going to down, well, first of all, we make sure that the phone's switched off, um, which this one is, and that the USB cable is not connected to the phone. And we'll take ourselves over to SonyEricsson.com. One of the things to note is that if you go to SonyEricsson.com and look up your phone, you won't find the update service listed. You need to find a device that is officially sort of supported by um, the update service because it's been, I suppose, depreciated by PC Companion, which uh, Sony Ericsson want you to install instead of this. But this tool is much neater, and all it does is update the software, which is much better for our purposes. So. What I've done is I've gone to the uh, Live View because that uses the update service software. So I've gone into Support, then Extras, and um, search for the Live View, and gone to download the software, which lets me download it now. So I've downloaded and installed the software. The first time you run it, it will take a bit of time to open up. So I'm just going to launch it here. Oops. Application's already running. Oops, I've got it running once already. Where is it? There it is. So I've already opened it. Sorry, it was in the background. So um, when you open an update service, after it does its updates and checks, it will take you to a screen that looks exactly like this. And it'll basically just say what I've checked, said already, that um, check that you have a USB cable, that it's charged up, and that you've backed up your data, and that it's not connected to the computer. So it will ask you to check the checkbox at the bottom, so you accept the agreement, which I'm doing there. And I'm going to click on the start button. So the first thing it will do is ask to find the phone. This pretty much works for all the Sony phones that are out there. Um, I'm going to obviously update the X10 Mini Pro that I mentioned. So I'll just select that device there and then click on the next button to move forward. The next screen um, is, is where we connect the phone. So the first thing is making sure again that your phone's switched off. I'm showing you a nice picture there with what to do, which I'll show you with my fingers on my actual phone because it's just it's, but it's nice and clear. So you press and hold the back button when you connect the USB cable to the phone. Okay, so I'll, I'll do that over here. So here's my phone. So again, now this is the back button. I'm going to press and hold down the back button, and I'm going to take the USB cable while I'm holding down the back button and plug it into the phone. Now I can't do that while holding this camera, so I'll just pause the video. Do that, and then we'll resume as soon as it's connected. There we are. So I'm pressing and holding the back button. The green LED comes on. Straight away, the computer picks up the device because I've already installed it before. Um, so it says, it said on the previous screen you can let go of the button. What it's done is it's checked which sort of version of software is on the device already. It's saying that it's got the latest software already on there, but I'm going to basically tell it to reinstall the data. It's also reminding us that the data stored in the phone memory would be lost, and to make sure you've got a backup, always important. So I'll go ahead and click the install button over there on the right. Again, it's saying it's going to wipe the data. That's fine. I'll click yes. And then what it does now is it will download the software, which I've already downloaded before, so it's going to be nice and quickly. And um, it will install the software on the phone. So it's really important, as it says there, do not disconnect the phone. It's quite possible you may well break your device if you do that. So um, I would be very careful to make sure that the cable stays firmly in the computer and in the phone until the, until the, until the computer tells you you can disconnect it. I'm going to pause the video because it's no point just watching a progress bar moving forward, and we'll resume once it's done. OK, so it's just about to finish. So uh, it's nearly finished flashing the f software onto the phone. So again, this is restoring the original Sony Ericsson stock firmware onto the device. There we go. And that's basically said the installation is completed successfully. And it's telling us we can disconnect the phone, turn it on, and it will take a while, and it will first split up. So I'll just turn this off over here. Disconnect the phone. Device is disconnected. And the LED's gone off. Back over on the software. We can click exit. And 
and take us off the phone, switch it on, and after a few moments, the device will boot up and it will be like it was when you first took out the box, prompting you for your region and um, Google account and all those sort of wonderful Android things. So there we go. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it useful if you're going to be restoring your phone. If you're interested in using different tools, I've also got a video on PC Companion and another one using the Flash Tool software to push a specific firmware to the device. Okay, thanks.